Brandon, Mississippi, a 15-year-old named Carly Greg Madison had gotten into an argument with her mother after her mother named Ashley had found various vape pens inside of her room, causing her to throw them away. And this would seemingly anger Carly to the point where she felt that she needed to kill. And later that day, Carly was caught on indoor security camera retrieving the family gun before deciding to use it on her own mother. After shooting and taking her own mother's life, Carly called her friend to help her dispose of the body, but instead her friend decided to contact law enforcement, causing Carly to be arrested and charged with first degree murder and is currently on trial being charged as an adult, where she faces up to life in prison if found guilty. In Seaside, California, police allegedly received a call about a man with a weapon in the area and while patrolling, Police stopped a group of males, three of which were minors, as they felt that they could be possible suspects, and after approaching the group, the officers would begin to use force on the men after failing to let them know why exactly they were being stopped, causing the officers to potentially land themselves in deep legal trouble. Is everybody okay? Yeah? yeah? Alright, just let me talk to you guys for a sec. Don't be scared. Where do I know you from? I don't know you? Okay. Um, you guys, I'm going to have you just mind have a seat right here for me. You guys good with that? Can no? Stop? Have a seat. What? I'm telling you to have a seat. Can I get your supervisor? Huh? He's on his way. So just have a seat for me, okay, guys? And just make sure you keep your hands out of your pockets. That's all I ask. Hey, stop and have a seat right now. No, you're walking away. Sit down. I'll explain to you guys. So, I know who you are. Just be chill, okay? Watch them for me. Center, six link in, two, one to ten. Yep, let go of the phone. Don't, don't, do do it, bro. don't do that. There you go. Oh, nice, yes, nigga. Code three, one combative. Relax. Relax, bro. Alright, record. Hey, relax, bro. Alright, alright, I get yeah. it, I get it. No, you don't get it. I do. Oh, relax, relax. What you do? I ain't doing anything. Ah, oh, my head. Oh. He's a minor, sir. I don't care. I don't care. Can I get your badge number? Can I get your badge number? Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Oh, Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I can't. I can't. At least your hand. At least your hand. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let go of your strap. I can't, it's right through on my arm. Hold
It would later turn out that the group was unarmed and had not committed any crime but was arrested by police anyway, causing them to all be released and the officers to be accused of racially profiling the men and put on administrative leave while they're investigated and the men involved are also looking to take legal action against all of the officers as well as the police department. In Miami, Florida, a deranged man named Darren Young had decided to enter a Victoria's Secret store and begin to attack two women that were inside shopping unprovoked. And when police arrived to the scene, Young would pull out a knife and wrap his arm around the neck of both women, holding them hostage, causing officers to be placed in a difficult situation and try to negotiate with him. But unfortunately, that approach would prove to be ineffective. seriously harm the women, police had no choice but to act quickly, causing an officer to run up and fire one shot, neutralizing the suspect before he was eventually taken to the hospital with a wound to the head, where he was ultimately pronounced deceased, and luckily the two women managed to escape without sustaining any serious injury. At Tarrant County Jail in Texas, a 37-year-old inmate named Anthony Johnson was allegedly involved in an altercation which caused multiple officers to rush up to the top deck to restrain him. But while multiple officers kneeled on his back, Johnson would lose consciousness and never regain it, causing officers involved to be unexpectedly indicted for murder. After it was revealed by the medical examiner that the cause of death was asphyxiation, two officers named Rafael Moreno and Joel Garcia, who weighed nearly 300 pounds each, were charged with murder. After kneeling on Johnson for nearly 10 minutes, and both are currently on trial, 
and if convicted could serve anywhere from 5 years to 99 years in prison. In Ontario, Canada, a woman named Sarah Bradshaw had responded to an ad about a Porsche for sale online and scheduled to meet up with the owner to check the car out. And when she showed up to the owner's home, he allowed her to get in the vehicle where she would then lock the doors, turn the vehicle on, and steal his car after attempting to run him over. I'm waiting for my dad, so if I can take a look at him. Luckily for the owner, it wouldn't take long before Sarah was caught by police and arrested and charged with vehicle theft and assault with a deadly weapon and remained in jail awaiting trial 